Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, as the title suggests, I'm going to be teaching you how to spin a card on your finger very badly. Yes, it took me years of practice to get as good at not being able to spin a card as I am. And I'll show you how to do that very, very easily. Right, now, honestly, it's not that. It's going to be that uh, Magic Box 2.0. I'm going to be using the Queen again. Mm, yeah, right. What do you need? You need a packet of cards, right? And you need to pick one card to be your Force card. You need another packet of cards with a contrasting colour, like that. And a duplicate of your Force card, which you will then stick upside down in the middle of that packet and put that packet back inside the box case Dump. make sure you put it in that way so when you're tipping the cards out they can see that they're red to see the contrasting colour right i didn't do that you might have noticed so you got a pack of cards with a duplicate of that in the middle upside down that's set you also need the magic box yes made this all on my own oh, and thank you very much michael great design again oh she's upside down that's better great design great design love it makes the box look mm, really stands out should have done with the inside as well right but you need a box so obviously you need a case with not a mini and you need a box which has got a little hidden slide that goes all the way inside yeah you need one of them what you do is you stick this box or if you want to see how to make one of these leave it in the comment and if enough people want to know how you make one i'll do a tutorial on that but i don't apologize it will be long it might be like when i've done the first one and i have to do it in three stages right nearly forgot you put this pack of cards inside the proper part of the box and you push it all in Ooh, get back just a bit and make it look so it's got a little bit there and a little bit there so it looks like a proper box you know what i mean you know what i mean right now the card that you're going to be using as your force you put that in whatever position that it needs to be in in the packet for the force you're using if you see what i mean for my force i add it on the bottom start off you can um, false shuffle false cut as long as you don't disturb where your force card is and that'd be pretty bad like really wouldn't it yeah so you make sure you keep your force card where it is then you force the card i just done a simple riffle down stop there cut the top off you want that card pull the bottom card yep right. Boom. bang there's your card and they'll see their card, and you'll see their card, because you need to see their card, otherwise you won't be able to do what you need to do. And you look at roughly how many cards are just above it. And that's got about, oh, I'd say about 20 cards above it, right? Because you need to know that for your estimations in a minute. So I think there's about 20 cards above it. So if I spread seven cards at a time, three of them should get me to the queen. So I'll spread off two four six eight cards there why not and bring me hand to the edge of the table as i'm putting them down all right is your card in there no it's not oh hang on i didn't do it did i no once their card's gone in you go like that you do a little fart at the box with the cards just to give the impression that you're transferring it then you spread off a couple of cards bring your hand to the edge of the table Put them down. Is your card in there? No. You spread off another couple of cards. Is your card in there? No, well, there's a queen. It's the wrong one. No, I don't like it. She's got red hair. Then you spread off till you get to your queen or your chosen card, right? And as you're putting them down there like that and saying, can you see your card? You're just going to go like this with your hand. Pull that down to there and then go down there like that lapping that's what you're going to be doing so you got it there you just pull your hands to the end and the card's gone then you can pull your hands back up again and 
is your card in amongst them. Don't forget, you're doing that lapping while they're looking at them cards. So they, if you do a little flash, they won't get onto it because they're looking at them cards, right? Is your card amongst them ones? No. And to save time, is your card amongst them? No. Right? Now, it's a good one to do if you're doing like a very, a, you know, a, a bit of a setup, you know, a bit of card magic, not just one trick, you're doing a few. Nice one to start off with because you've just gone and got rid of one card, but you're getting it back again in a minute, aren't you? So, you just done that. Um, they've just seen, sorry. They've just seen all of them cards and know that the Queen wasn't in there. You then indicate to the box again. And because you've put this box down with the wrong end, you put the box, when you've done this bit, and shown that the box is empty, put it down with that end towards you, right? But then when you pick the box up, you're just getting your little finger in there just to push that one up till it hits the bottom of that one, right? And that's done under the cover of your hand. Then you just pull your hand around a bit further and you can just go as if you're naturally pulling the box out then. And you can pull the entire thing out. You can see where my corners just you can see where my corners just gone off, can't you? I've got to make a hole of the new one. Because it's the inside one which is knackered. So I can't make an inside shut your face. So you can show there's a pack of cards in the box now. And you can take the pack of cards out, you can put the box to one side like that and get rid of it. Then you open the packet up this way, so when you tip the cards out, they'll see the contrasting colour. Get rid of the case. They've seen a contrasting colour. You then turn the cards over and you just go, ay 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 -o, ay ay -o, all the way across your table, or whatever you want to do it. And then you can pull out the one card which is facing in the wrong direction, and the one card which is, I knew that had happened. The wrong colour to then, to that, and then you can go there. While I'm cleaning my mess up, they can see there's the Queen of Spades, which was their card. And I say if you're doing this at the start of a little routine, that, and then go into there, full deck again, carry on with your tricks. You even got another deck, you can do two deck tricks. Yes, yeah, smashing. Right, thank you very much for watching. I've rabbited on enough. If you want to learn how to make that, leave it in the comments if there's enough. I will show you how to do it. Um, that being said, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again soon.